Hey everyone, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to solve the problem and product. Considering two non-negative long integers a and b, where a less than or equal to b, the bitwise and of all integers in the inclusive range between a and b can be expressed as a and a plus 1 and up to b, where and is a bitwise uh, and operator. Given n pairs of uh, long integers a of i and uh, b of i, compute and uh, print the and of all natural numbers in the inclusive range between a of i and b of i. For example, if a equals 10 and b equals 14, the calculation is from 10 to 14 we have to take a and of all the numbers. So the result will be 8 here. So let's see the constraints. So here uh, the numbers can go up to 200. So that's like uh, 200 test cases and uh, the range can go up to 2 power 32. That's really a big number. So we can't uh, go with the traditional approach. So it will definitely exceed the time limit if you go through all the integers and uh, try to get the AND product because it will definitely exceed the time limit with the number of test cases also. If this is like a single uh, integer, we can uh, go for a single loop and uh, do the AND product. But if it's like 200 times means uh, it will definitely exceed the time limit. So we have to find a pattern and uh, solve this problem. Now for uh, example here we have uh, 3, so we have 3 inputs, so this is the range 12 to 15, 2 to 3, 8 to 13 and uh, we have uh, here 12, 2 and 8, that is the result we are having. So this is in powers of 2 and this is uh, odd, that is uh, 12. So we have to check with a uh, binary number, so we can able to do the AND product by ourselves and uh, check whether there is a pattern or not. And uh, let's go for the next input. Here we have 17 to 28, 11 to 15. So in 17 to 28, uh, the AND product is 16. So this is also powers of 2 and uh, for 11 to 15, it is 8. So this is also a power of uh, 2. So we can able to see most of them are in powers of 2. So we'll be uh, getting the logic based on the powers of 2. Let's go through some examples. Maybe we can able to find a pattern. So I will comment these things out. So we'll be having the range for this input 12 to 15. So 12, 1, 1, 0, 0, 13, 1, 1, 0, 1, 14, 1, 1, 1, 0. Finally, uh, 15. It is 1, 1, 1, 1. So here, uh, this is the starting number and uh, this is the ending number. If you do AND product for each of them, we'll be uh, getting some numbers here. So here, if you do AND means uh, this will be 12. So this will be automatically goes to 0. And here also again it will be automatically goes to 0 and again uh, 0 and 1 is 0. So in the end result we'll be having 12 here. So for these inputs we are having 12. That is the starting number. So in the result we can able to store the starting number. And uh, let's go for 8 and uh, 13. So this result is 12. Let's again go for other inputs. So eight, that will be one triple zero, nine, one zero zero one, ten, one zero one zero. I think we need to have space. So this will be aligned. Now eleven. One zero one one. So again, twelve and thirteen. So it will be same. So everything is good to go. Now here also we can able to uh, see a pattern. So eight will be the starting number, and if you do and means all the three bits are zeros. So it will uh, keep on continue. 
बिकॉज जीरो विथ एनी थिंग विल बी जीरो एंड विथ एनी नंबर विल बी जीरो दैट्स वाई इट विल कीप ऑन कंटिन्यू टिल द एंड एंड लस इफ वी हैव अनदर टू पावर लेट्स से इफ वी हैव सिक्सटीन हैश सिक्सटीन सो देन विल बी हैविंग अनदर बिट लाइक दिस विल बी हैविंग फाइव बिट्स so in this case the whole thing will become uh, zero if we consider another bit here so this is also a case we have to consider so the result here is 8 and the result here is uh, 12 that is also a starting uh, number and here also you can observe for 2 and 3 that is also a starting number and uh, for 17 and 11 to 15 so that is uh, different let's consider 11 to 15 if you consider 11 to 15 let's copy this so this is for 11 and to 15 this is here so here also if you take the and product you can able to clearly uh, see this one is uh, constant for all the numbers and here one one zero is there and here also one zero is there and here also one zero is there if uh, any number have a uh, zero if we do and operation it will automatically goes uh, zero till the end so this one is still remains and all the three digits are zero means in the end we'll be getting 8 that's how we are getting this result so using this pattern uh, we are going to figure out the logic so now i am going to code the solution let's say result equals starting number equals i don't need a starting number we already have a i am going to store a in the result and i'll going to initialize i to 0 so i am going to only consider uh, the numbers in powers of 2 so i am going to do and operation in powers of 2 uh, now while a plus so these are all natural numbers it's going in uh, ascending order and in a sorted order so a plus 2 power i is less than b so it should be in the range so i am just incrementing it by i so it's going in powers of 2 uh, so we'll be considering all the important uh, numbers and here result and equals the same number so we already have a and we are going to do the next number so if you consider this example it will consider 12 and after that it will increment it by 2 so it will consider 14 and uh, it will increment by 4 and it will goes out of the loop so when it goes out of the loop we have to do the and operation with b so before that we have to increment i by 1 so i plus equal to 1 so this will complete the loop when it breaks out of the loop we have to do result and equals b because uh, both the values are uh, inclusive from 8 to 13 if you consider 8 we have considered at the start and 13 we have to consider in the end that's why i'm just used a uh, less than operator so using this logic you can able to easily arrive at the result and uh, each time you are uh, increasing the number by powers of 2 so in the exponential uh, manner it will greatly uh, reduce your uh, running time and finally you will return the result so return result so here also i didn't consider this logic before i have uh, directly applied this uh, powers of 2 so i just uh, considered uh, the numbers only in uh, powers of 2 so that also fails some test cases and after that only i have uh, gone with this logic so i just uh, included the numbers uh, that are going in powers of 
so i just included the numbers that are going in powers of 2 from the starting range so from the starting range i'll be adding a 1 2 4 8 16 like that if it's uh, within the range means i'll be doing the and product so here uh, it is and operation i just used xor because so far we are just dealing with the xor operator only <laughs> that's why i confused so i guess we are good to go let's run the code once so we have passed the sample test case let's submit it once and we have solved the problem so as you can able to see the logic is uh, pretty tricky here it's not like a difficult problem it's just hardly um, uh, seven lines of code so it didn't take that much but to figure out the logic we have to uh, use a different uh, number of custom test cases and uh, you have to figure out the logic mainly with the number of uh, leading zeros that's how you can able to arrive this uh, result i have tried various uh, methods uh, before and uh, it it failed and uh, some of the methods have uh, passed the test cases like partially like uh, half of them you can't like ignore those logic as a uh, useless logic because uh, while finding this uh, answer if you are uh, getting some solutions means that solution can be useful in uh, some other problem so that is the objective of uh, competitive programming so if you are uh, trying some solution and it didn't work means it will definitely work for some other uh, problem so you can able to clearly uh, use it and don't worry if you just uh, stuck and uh, just got a partial solution it doesn't matter you will eventually uh, get the solution uh, if you just keep on uh, thinking and uh, using some custom test cases and executing uh, your own logic so that's how it works and that's it guys i'll see you in the next video